welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created this manipulation with the full pixel app so without wasting much of your time let's jump right into it so the first thing you want to do is to repeat your size yeah just click on three dots here and go to the image size this is the size that i use so just where to repeat that so you can have this exact size so i'll just click on ok and i'll leave my design here to use as a reference to what i'm actually doing so the first thing i want to do is to disable this main design layer i can see i have my image already selected so all the links that you need to download your images have been provided for you in the description so do us check that out and follow me as i work on this tutorial so the first thing to do is to import your sprite and the size is 4661 for that and i rotated it to minus four so just do to do that and just centralize it this is already centralized i don't need to repeat that again so the next thing you want to do is this so let me just place this to the front so for this you click on crop since this image is selected and you have imported it click on crop then select this um three by four select this three by four click on ok once you've selected that position to the top position to the top and then adjust the size all the way to the end then centralize it again click on the relative position to centralize this and place it to the back change my background color to black i'm going to change my background color to black yes because of the edges so i'm going to lock this layer that we just did um the background i'm going to lock that so once i lock that all i need is to duplicate the background now click on copy i'll place this here so once i place this here i'll go to erase 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 to this is it i'll increase my brush size and i'll increase the brush blow size so this is just the undo this down section is the undo you can see it you can increase the undo it depends on you everything is increased and i'll clean only the top just clean only the top clean only the top keep on cleaning see how keep it is. so when you get to this um section be careful I don't want to clean the top of the water just you know take your time here take your time just take your time okay keep on cleaning so yes once i've done that i will it's already centralized already remember so i'll click go to opacity i've forgotten what i actually use but I knew it was around okay. I think let's just keep it at 40. I'm sorry, I didn't. Um, you know, it was around 35 to 40. I can't really remember, so I'll just leave it at 40 and then lock the layer. I'll duplicate it again. So I've duplicated it, it's still centralized. Duplicate it, I'll increase this opacity all the way back to the end. So I just want the top of the, the tip of this water, just the tip. So I'll increase the brush size and the undo and I'll clean the down section. So take your time in this section here. I don't want it to touch this tip. Just something like this is okay. This edge, the edge, the left edge and the right edge is not necessary because the sprite butt is not touching there. It's just this main part. That we need Let's see yes now you can see it it made the water on top the line on top of the water to be more realistic so you can see the down section here has a little bit um you can still erase that just take your time in this section let's erase that once more let's just take our time to erase that is here yes let's erase that i think it's okay yes it's okay now now it is okay so this is it let me lock this layer back let me place this to the front see what i'm doing okay it's already placed to the front now what remains is the bubbles let me lock it okay before i forget this let, let me do the bubbles first okay this is it this is the bubble this is it yeah it's actually in full size Yes, like this. I cropped it all the way to just half section. Let me delete this previous one. I cropped it. I rotated it to 
minus 99 and I placed it here just for it to pop up depends if you want to move it all the way to the side you're okay with it but I placed it I just centralize it let me just see okay see centralize that is okay just place it here and move this to the back of the two front water layers okay, okay. yes this is it I'll lock it there's another bubble that I used can't find it okay this bubble here I duplicated it and I placed it here okay not really like this not really like this Place the size any size you want just make sure the size is the same size with the can make sure the size is the same size with the can the edge let me increase it again yes something like this the same size you can and i position it at this down section here so i place this to the back of the two water layer as well and lock it i use the other um bubble here yes which is this i probably remember to keep this in the paper file the size is 36 33 i just place it to this edge here this edge here to make it more realistic so i'll place move it also to the back of the two water layers and then i'll lock it so in order to do the light effect click on shapes just change your radius move your radius all the way to the end so you change the circle click on gradients click on plus for this i'll make this section this first section transparent click on this and click on the um drop icon here then move this third slide all the way to the end it becomes transparent move this all the way to the middle section and select this gradient effect here then click on the first one which is this select this icon again and then click on the color icon color picker sorry and then select this the brightest color here let me zoom in just select the brightest color here and you're good to go yes move the slide all the way to the end or oh, to this section sorry click on ok and here we have it increase the size you should be at the back of the coke but let me copy it again just place this at the top as my sun effect so i'm okay with that if you want to duplicate it how many times it depends on you but i'll just leave it like that i'll just leave that. i'll place the move this to now to the back of the to the back of this coke okay that's okay okay you can readjust it the top section the one at the top to your own taste it totally depends on you just that yes this is it totally depends on you so for this for the next thing here you are wearing my tutorial i don't show you how to add all these helicopters and all this bed anymore for my tutorials i don't show you guys how to do that because this is very simple we just import it and reduce the size okay i think i should just tell you the size for that for the helicopter that is at the top the one selected the size is just reduce the size zero the size is nine and the, the height is six for the second helicopter that is there the size is ten and the height is eight and for the little birds that are there the size is seven and the height is four so this is it yes i think this is it the, the reason why mine is popping out like this is because I edited it with Lightroom. I enhanced the design first and then the lens flare is not really necessary though. But if you want to add lens flare, I'm not sure you guys have to do that anymore in this tutorial because I have tutorials on that on my channel already. So you just do to go to the description and watch that. I really appreciate that. Do have to check that out. So this is it. So you can see the, this is the before and this is the after. I have Lightroom tutorials on YouTube as well. It's very happy to you know edit with Lightroom. So if this video is helpful, I really appreciate if you can share it to a friend that is looking forward to learning how to design with this platform. Subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you guys in my next upload.